Stampwell and LSO, the crystal ball tonight. Well, the crystal ball doesn't... This is the Camp Nou. On the last 11 occasions, they have been beaten in all 11. In fact, Barcelona has scored 20 goals in the last five matches here in Catalonia against Malaga. So, Jerry Armstrong, what's in the crystal ball tonight? Well, the crystal ball doesn't look good for Malaga. Let's put it like that. Had it been at Malaga, you'd give them sort of half a chance, but, you know, they're going to have to play from the back tonight. It's a familiar lineup tonight. They are missing uh, Iniesta through injury. That you would uh, really notice any weakness uh, in... Malaga have had to dig deep. Did he create from 25, 30 yards from goal? He found some fantastic... He's only got the 18 goals. Bless him. 18 <laughs> goals in 18 starts. Oh. Here is Alexis on the blind side of the Malaga defence. And clips the pole. Now Chiavi. This football. Antunes <laughs> with Contemaris and enters the area with freedom and he needs Ferreira to make the block. Great defender from Ferreira. Tell you what, an excellent run from Pedro into the near post as well. And that's a sensational run from Alexis. He skips inside one, then he brushes aside a challenge from Tassoni and then looking for... Last year, Willie Caballero had 19 clean sheets. This season, he's actually in the top four when it comes to defences. There's Pedro, corner, Barca. In from Newell Old Boys in the uh, into transfer window. You're familiar to Tata Martino, isn't he as well? Axe manager. Pedro switched wings. Goes through Antunes. Yes, which is nice to see as well. Oh. Good first touch. Caballero comes and well does enough to unbalance Lionel Messi. Well, two one-on-ones, Willie Caballero's come out, he's made himself big, spread himself. The first time he did it against Alexis, this time Messi. Maybe the first touch could have been a wee bit better, and I think Messi's stretching for it just there. And he lobs it wide of the far post. Spain would uh, prolong his career, but he has to be careful. There's Pedro with a cross, Malaga temporarily. He's actually the last Malaga player to score a goal that was uh, over a month ago when uh, well, Malaga's defence has been okay in recent weeks they've had three clean sheets in the last emergency signing from Elche he's going to be busy again as it's Fabregas buried down oh. the goal <laughs> oh, oh. Arsenal in these wide positions are catching them out good defending they'll have to say from Sanchez he gets his body in the way and then that's led Real Madrid they win and Atletico Madrid won the derby away at Rayo Vallecano. As you can see, Pedro's slipping. And he's obviously got blades or short studs in and loses his footing. To be a little bit clever, he's looking to pull the trigger. I really do feel he should get their shots off a lot earlier. Barcelona, great run. Top of the table, Real Madrid started the day ahead of Barcelona and Atletico. They're on 53 points. Malaga players, there were not too many complaints. Here's Alexis Sanchez. Dips the shoulder, tries to shake off Antunes, he does so. Gets the cross in, oh, it's eventually cleared off. Whenever they've hit the target, it's either the defenders get the block in, like there, or Willy Caballero's making saves, and credit to him, Flavio Ferreira gets his body in the way. And Barcelona looking for a way through, now Pedro. Pedro sizes things, no goals. Yeah, five or six at least in this first half hour. This is the target in this occasion, Pedro. But Pellegrini had before him, but he's organised this side brilliantly. His own players hit him there. It's up by Messi, and there's a scream which draws the... Hit him in the chest, his own player. Watch. There you oh, go. Oh dear, I don't think it was the chest, Jerry. Oh, well, it's kicked him in the, in the stomach, but <laughs> have a look. And it's not a Barcelona player. No. Seven chances, and... It was only a matter of time before one of them was going to go in. Here's Jordi Alba. Alba draws. Tonight, Willy Caballero. Great movement again by Alba down that left side. Chad, not able to wear down the team from the Costa del Sol. This is Pedro. 
Jordi Alba, who's been arguing with the pick of the Barcelona players tonight. What a clumsy tackle and a, a case to be answered by the referee. Well, he hasn't given for a two-footed challenge, so I don't think he's going to give that one. It was clumsy, but I think Pedro made the most of it. It would have been a shame had it been Sergio Sanchez as well. He Determined start to the second half. A fall rather than a foul in the penalty area. And that was charged out. Referee held the whistle. There was a, a definite use of the hand from Angoleri. Fabregas to Pedro. Pedro, Messi, immediately there's a swarm of... Another blind pass from Pedro. Here's Messi. Messi to Pedro. Pedro steps carefully and finishes. One off the half a century. Well done, Danny Alves here. Lovely ball to Messi and then Messi feeds it into Pedro. Pedro skits inside on Ancaleri and clips it inside the far post, this one. Great finish. Well, Messi may not be scoring the goals at the moment, but he's creating them. Created the hat-trick for Telio midweek. Yeah. And his was the final touch, which set up Pedro Rodriguez for his yeah. 16th goal. We almost caught Victor Valdez out. Now here's the pacey Pedro. <laughs> the prolific Pedro. Angoleri, not quite sure where he's going. Oh, he's caught. That one there. And he got caught in the follow-through, didn't he? Shin, the shin. Here is Messi. Stepping on the gas, gives it to Pedro. Pedro across, and that one is walked in by Alexis Sanchez. Barcelona now. A piece of skills, and he's coming across on his left foot. He spots Pedro. Good ball, and then unselfishly, Pedro tees it up at the far post for Alexis to tap in. And this game is well and truly over, Rob. Look at the options he had as well. He had Jordi Alba on the outside. Uh, it is Tellio coming on for Pedro. No necessity to take any more risk, is there? You know, Pedro took a bit of a back.